It's a great song and ties very much in with what we want to share this morning as we continue to look through this little series on people in prayer in the scriptures. Uh, We're going to look at the book of Esther this morning, but that's later on. But we'll see how Queen Esther indeed trusts in God and intercedes for her people who could be totally wiped out and how God steps into that situation as she trusts in him as he is her shepherd and indeed carries her through and the people of God through the desperate situation that they find themselves in. But we open with these opening words, that which is in the bolder print is where you can join with me as we indeed worship this morning. And we hear these words, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak of his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are discouraged take heart Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who trust in him. We are the people of God. The scriptures remind us that we still sin. We need to confess our failures, knowing that Jesus intercedes for us with the Father who freely forgives us. So let us draw near to God with sincerity and confidence. And please join me as we say and pray this confessional prayer together. Almighty God, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you made all things and you call everyone to account. With shame we admit that we have sinned against you in what we have thought, said and done, and we deserve your judgment. We turn from our sins and are truly sorry for them. Have mercy on us, most merciful Father, for the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us all that is past. Enable us to serve and please you in new life to your honour and glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And hear God's forgiveness. Merciful Lord, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the colleague for this, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. So at this point of our service, we indeed come to our birthdays. We have quite a few this week. Uh, We begin with Harold Laurie on the 1st of May. We have Florence Graham on the 2nd of May. Jill Mers, I think it's on the 2nd of May. There was no date, so I am assuming it is the 2nd. We have Lee Pearson, who's going to be 17 on the 2nd of May. We have Ella Thackeray on the 3rd of May. Lee Matthews on the 4th of May. Matthew Gilliland's going to be 10 on the 5th of May. Ben McCrossan on the 16th. He is going to be 16 on the 5th of May. And we have Michael Pearson on the 6th of May. And we have Rebecca Stevenson on the 7th of May. So a lot of birthdays this coming week. And we indeed at this point want to sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, God bless you, happy birthday to you. Let's pray. Father, we indeed thank you for each person that we've named. We pray for Harold and Florence, for Jill, Lee, Ella, for Lee for Matthew, for Ben, for Michael, for Rebecca. And we want to pray your blessing on them for a new chapter, another year, and a day that you will richly journey with them and bless them with your beautiful, strong presence, that you will be with them in all the circumstances and situation of their lives in the coming year, and that they will always just feel that love and warmth of your presence through that beautiful person of your Holy Spirit. We pray that you'll keep each and every one of them well. And indeed, Father, that you will be everything that they need you to be on a daily basis. And we as a church family commit them to you this morning. And we do so gladly in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So we're going to have our young people's talk and Emma is going to bring that talk to us this morning. Emma. <laughs> 